Oh man, come on, man. <laughs> Let's talk about it. We are now tuning in to Let's Talk About It. I'm Coach Drew, and we got Triple B L A C K in the building. Back in the building, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hey, it, it ain't oh, safe. No, hold on. hold on. Before you get all hyped, <laughs> let the people know why you back. Hey, listen, man. My mouth got me in trouble, especially on Facebook. I got Twitter fingers and Facebook fingers, and you know, people can't, you know, can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, you know, hey. I have a motto. I go hard or I go home. You know what I'm saying? If you if you go if you put any type of what's the name and think triple black is not gonna you ain't gonna get whacked by triple black, man. Just leave me alone, man. Y'all people on Facebook, man, quit antagonizing the dude. You know what I'm saying? Because if you say some uh, something out of pocket, you are gonna get the whole thing. You heard me, Johnny? <laughs> you from Naples, bro? There's no <laughs> about Naples, bro. Like, there's nothing what? Let, I, let it go, bro. There's nothing gangster about Naples. I never said I was gangster, man. But hey, you know, it's not. It's not where you, you, you from. It's not where you from. It's who you are, and you already know. I'll give everybody the whole clip. Uh, uh, how about that? Well, if you keep on trying to get everybody the whole clip, you ain't gonna be able to get nobody no clips because Facebook gonna kill you. <laughs> And they got big hey, and they hey, I might not be off. gangster in real life, but I'm gangster on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Let L I get man. Listen, man, let's talk about it. You know, we always tune in and try to get you guys what's going on and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll man. Everything. Mm -hmm. Uh you know, we got a summer camp coming up this week. I mean, uh that'll be dropping this summer. You know, uh make sure y'all uh, look out for that information. If you're tuning in right now, please like, subscribe, and share this content because me and my boys finna dive into it. I got a different perspective of what's going on with Kwame Brown and Triple B L A C K because we do come from two different outlooks of life. And he brought this to my attention and said, let's talk about it. So we're going to jump on into it. So let's get it. Triple B L A C K, what you got going on? Um, ah, man. Hey, man, I'm back in the building. You know what I'm saying? Lick a shot, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But, anyways, man, uh, this Kwame. Right shot. Uh -huh. I didn't even hear that. Did you? Oh, you didn't hear that? Let, let, do it again. What? <laughs> man, come on, man. Come hey, go. All right, all right, all right. You think? Okay, all right. It ain't yeah, safe. Whatever, it ain't man. safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. I'm just gonna blow the whole thing up. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> uh, man, this whole Kwame Kwame Brown is called it a disruptor. Yeah, he's called a disruptor. He's called a disruptor. He's called a disruptor right now. But the thing about it is I talked about this, uh, you know, on another show that I did was um, um, Kwame Brown uh, is exposing something. And, and I actually did a show on No Cupcake Zone about this a long time ago. It was called Culture Vultures. And it was when Joe Budden had signed that deal with Spotify. And and, and what, what what it was was YouTube was was a different platform to where – you go to YouTube if you wanted to get an unbiased, organic opinion about things, right? And you know, people started flooding, and then you, you, what you started to see was a flood of the mainstream artists in the mainstream media showing, like, you know, YouTube. This is the, this is the way that people watch TV now. People, this is the way that people communicate. You know, they don't, they're, they're not watching TV. They're watching YouTube. They're watching Facebook. That's why you see that trend with Instagram. All these different. Um, platforms having like streaming and stuff like that, right? And um, what they did was they 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 basically came in and commercialized it. And it's just like anything, you know. You you see some grassroots, and then the, the big corporations come in there and they kind of craft things. And then next thing you know, you used to be able to get like a like say for instance, if you got like a, an album, right, a Kanye mm -hmm. album, whatever, you'll get like YouTube content creators that come in 
and they they kind of form their opinion on it you know so you'll get an unbiased opinion not no pay old not no you know because if you hear from the radio those radio people are paid by these different corporations and they and they and that's what they kind of pick and choose who's hot or not right mm-hmm. and with kwame you know they, they kind of pick and the dude was 13 years in the nba but somehow he the the media made him a whipping boy as a bust yeah because michael jordan put that burden of michael jordan's choice I mean, I guess because they thought Michael Jordan was a great player, he would also pick good. But Adam Morrison was a bust, but we don't hear about Adam Morrison. He picked him too. But yeah. Kwame Brown is, you know, he's easy to to pile up on, right? And my, my thing is what, what Kwame, let's not look at the negative. Let's look at the positive of a guy that comes from a single parent home. You feel what I'm saying? And smart dude, you know what I'm saying? Honor student, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he made, he, he, he accomplished his dream. Who cares the way he accomplished, you know what I'm saying? How it, how it happened, but you know, he made it to the NBA. Yeah. Things didn't go the way he wanted to, but he made it to the NBA. And like right now our topic is perception is really not reality and social media. Like you talking about, you know, uh, commercializing things. People are getting on social media and you see it all the time with, you know, Photoshop and all that stuff. People, you know, uh, tailoring up their body and stuff like that. And now you have, you know what I'm saying? People bullying people on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Because they can go and pick and choose and say what they want to say about people because they're behind a soundboard or they behind, you know what I'm saying? A social media platform. And, you know, me personally, sh- Quiet. I, 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 you know, you can't tell me how many guys in this world wouldn't want to be in his shoes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's seven billion people on the planet. Yes, and and he was a first pick. That's like I don't even know. That's a fraction of the population. And he was a starter. He played <laughs> for 13 years. And 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 some. And he was young. He was 18 years old. And you know what I'm saying? And when you get into a system. Sometimes the system don't form around you. You have to form around the system. And I think I think that's what came, you know what I'm saying, with Kwame, because you got to think about it. He was in Jordan's system. He was in Kobe's system. Those systems probably didn't work for him. No, they didn't work for him. But because I mean, he... I mean, there was one year he averaged 10 points or, you know, he was averaging like five. I'm just saying it's just like, I mean, if you're going to put the tag on him and make them whipping boy, how come Kendrick Perkins is on the like on TV every day and everybody's not going after him? But we're not going to go after nobody. The biggest. Right, thing right, right. Not, you know what I'm saying? Because let's look at this, you know. We have a job as, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a media corporation, big dreams and no no cupcake zone. You know what I'm saying? In our opinion, we have guys and people that follow us and, and, and watch us. And our opinion, uh, you know what I'm saying, is, is value. Not saying, you know, we puppet masters or anything like that, but people tune into us because, you know what I'm saying, they like the route that we're going. So when people have that type of control, you know what I'm saying, with the big corporations and the big companies, they can sway your opinion any way they want to. They put what they uh-huh. want to put in your face because this Kwame Brown story, the thing is, it was only just, it's just one side to the story. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's all the people, it's all the people that sitting up here that's, you know, never been in that position before that's talking about him. You feel what I'm saying? And because all the guys that's talking about him right now, who was the number one pick? Him. I mean, but there's a bunch of number one picks that we've never heard. They didn't even last 10 years or even five years in the NBA. I mean, who is it? Joe Johnson or what was it? Joe Smith or I mean, there's a bunch of them. Right. Bust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my biggest thing is what do we take from this? You know what I'm saying? As young men, you have to under understand this. And parents, the ones that's tuning in right now. Think about, you know what I'm saying, what this 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 guy is going through right now. He's he's venting, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he's been around these guys. So you guys are throwing salt on a situation that's like really like irrelevant because think about this. This guy is $64 million richer than 
half of us that's tuned in talking about right. him, listening to him. Well, I think he's made over a hundred his his whole career. Right. I mean, but the thing about it, I guess the key thing is 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 perception is not reality at all. You got to understand that is like the media can make whatever they want. I mean, we're just like we're being programmed in a certain way, and it, it to me it's, it's 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 a little bit dangerous. It's a little bit dangerous. There's a thing called was it uh, NLP. Uh, neuro, you got to look it up. It's like neuro linguistic programming. Uh -huh. they bas basically, if you watch so certain images or, or certain things, you, you kind of almost become programmed to believe certain things. Right. That's why, like, you know, sometimes radio stations and, and TV, they, they do repetitive ads. They, you know, they do all that because it, it kind of programs you, right? It just kind of programs you to kind of believe whatever you want to believe. I mean, whatever they want you to believe, right? Yeah. And is if you now, I mean, the face of, I mean, the numbers don't say that Kwame was a bust. I mean, there's no way that you can last 13 years in the NBA and be a bust. How does that happen? Yeah. But yeah, if you listen to Stephen A. Smith, which is, you know, these pup, I mean, are controlled by puppet masters. Uh, they can make you think whatever they want to. You feel me? Yeah. Um and, and I think that's a, a, a dangerous thing. You know, that's a dangerous thing. Now, they oh, wanted real to. Quick, real quick. Wigs say, you know what I'm saying, uh, being the number one pick comes with expectations. <laughs> expectations from who? People that's not number one? You feel what no, I'm people saying? came with the expectation of Jordan's expectation. No, Jordan listen, listen, man. listen. He said, but it's just a standard that being the number one pick comes with expectations. We all play sports and we all know what expectations mean. Yes, we all do, but we all don't know what that being the number one draft pick expectations mean. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the difficult situation about it like we sit up here and we, we 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 look from the outside looking in we don't know what that guy had going on during this number one draft pick because yes being the number one draft pick it's a lot of expectations and there's a lot of people that come with those expectations and this is i know but that's at but, 18 years old right but i'm just saying it's just like imagine i mean the thing about it is is, is let's look at the standard that he's being judged against uh if he's being judged against the standards of high school players uh he's actually one of the upper echelon of high school players in, in especially in the last 20 30 years right 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 i mean yeah i mean come on man most of them are washed out <laughs> you remember that one guy that was supposed to be the anti lebron what happened i don't even know what his name is uh, and it's he's gone uh, yeah and it's and it's one of those things where you know uh Darius Miles, like he, all these guys. He came into, you know what I'm saying, greatness. Like we're sitting up here, we're comparing LeBron to Jordan. Like that's the standards that, you know what I'm saying, we're comparing it to. So you think about being an 18-year-old kid walking in the locker room with greatness. At mm -hmm. his, you know what I'm saying, at his, you know what I'm saying, like he knows all the knowledge. He knows all that because at this time when Jordan, you know, when he went to the Wizards, Jordan was, you know, been through it. So now, you know what I'm saying? It's raw and uncut. He ain't really with the BS. And some kids at 18 years old, you know what I'm saying, are not like, this ain't what I'm trying to comply to right now. Right. I just made this bag right now. You feel what I'm saying? But, but, I, but at the end of the day, they tested the wrong guy. Yeah, because the, they didn't real they didn't understand that the caricature that they built up with this you know this big tall bus country bumpkin can't talk or whatever it resonates with people especially in that space because people are looking for real people right. are not looking for Max and what's the name scripted you know so, puppet master you know type show anymore they're not looking for that you know what I'm saying that's why Shannon Sharp is so good because th there's a level of authenticity or uh, authenticity that that uh, Shannon Sharp sh displays and that's why he's popular because you can tell he's real you know Barkley has a little bit of realness in him he's not he's not it, it resonates but now you got somebody that comes on the platform that's unfiltered not paid by anybody that can say whatever the hell they want to say give you a uh, honest opinion and they and then all they do is deflect that makes them look bad because some of the shit that he was uh some of the stuff that he was saying <laughs> some of the stuff that he was saying right some of the stuff that he was saying was was being deflected and and they were trying to to, to silence him and quiet him and they, they didn't have an answer for it you feel me yeah
And but they have an answer for it. But that's the thing when you know what I'm saying, you have to be, you know what I'm saying, careful with, you know what I'm saying, putting out, you know what I'm saying, and and thinking certain perceptions is reality. Because mm-hmm. this is not the the, the 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 perception that they're portraying for this young this this guy is not reality. And mm-hmm. when his reality came forth, it spewed over to a lot of other stuff. And the thing is, I get it, man. You know, sometimes it, it's like a volcano, you know what I'm saying? You get to a point and you erupt. And, you know, with a guy been in the league 13 years, man, come on now. The guy, you know what I'm saying, has seen some things and been around some stuff. So when, you know, he unleashed his fury, you feel what I'm saying? After being, you know what I'm saying, the butt end of everybody's joke. Now let's look at, you know what I'm saying, the clown. Because the reality that you guys and the people that's talking bad about this dude and saying he's a bust for train is not... You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? What it is. And he sat up and he gave it to him, blow it raw. And then, you know, I don't, you know, condone and, you know what I'm saying, him, you know, expressing himself on social media that way. You feel what I'm saying? But I get it. You know what I'm saying? That was the outlet that he'd had, you know what I'm saying, to, to go off and do what he do. And that's why I come to this conclusion. And our summer camp, you know what I'm saying, is big with this. And this is what we're going to be tying it. You know what I'm saying? Hitting home with a lot is your platform. Be careful how you use it because, you know, um, you're a coach, for instance. And right now it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, shenanigans going on in the youth level football. And we're going to start a show, you know, uh, here coming up when our season start, you know, rep your program. But it's a lot of shenanigans going on in the, uh, you know, in that situation. And these guys have platforms and people are listening to their information. And a lot of the information ain't reality. Oh, my goodness. But the perception it's, is. It's not even like I, but there's a youth, uh, a couple youth pages or groups that I've seen. And I've seen some program people that, you know, I got a son, I'm like, man, there's no way I would let my son or anybody that I know be part of that foolishness. And I cannot believe the the tact or, or the lack of tact that some of these grown men display. Oh, don't just leave the fools out there now. There's some females that's doing Oh, yeah. are you, like, are, are you really serious? Like, you mean you have a youth organization and you guys got some guys. I mean, I've seen I, I don't even want to get into some of the stuff that I've seen, but I'm just like, man, you cannot believe me. You, you can't tell me these guys. Some of these guys are leaders amongst men and some of the buffoonery that they're doing on some of these pages. Yeah. And like. But it's going unchecked. And, 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 and that's the thing. Like right now, the unchecknedness and. The perception of you know what I'm saying everything that's going on social media can get diluted. This is what I this is what people need to understand. They have this editing tool where you can speed, you can slow. You feel what I'm saying? You can chop some stuff up, and I'm I'm kind of good at it. And I, so I know tricks and trades. And when I'm looking at videos and I'm seeing stuff fabricastic. You know what I'm saying? The perception that people are portraying, I know it's fake. You know what I'm saying? But let's let's think about this, guys. Let's really, 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 let's hit this home. You have a platform. You're putting out all this, you know what I'm saying, negativity, spewing, you know what I'm saying, bad information, you know what I'm saying, putting other programs down, whoop do whoop do and you're not putting in anything. You have a group of kids that's following you right now. So guess what they're going to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they coach perception that he's spewing on his platform Mm-hmm. It's negative. So, guess okay. what yeah, you know what? People use these tools to go and look up information. Guess what? If I'm moving to a city and then I want to know, you know, what youth program, and then I go and I Google this youth program and I see a YouTube video of, you know, you know, their mama twerking. I mean, like, you know, the head of the what's the name twerking. The, I'll be like, ratchet. No, let's move no, on. What? I'm not donating. <laughs> You're killing me now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It's just yeah, like it's, it's, listen, guys. It's here, here, here. You know what I'm saying. Our show is based off, based in Southwest Florida, and my perception and my, you know, what I'm saying, my reality base is here in Southwest Florida. But I've been around 
I play ball around the country, you know, and got some guys that, you know, I stay in contact with. And, you know, we talk a lot. But at the end of the day, we have to change our perception, you know what I'm saying, from, you know what I'm saying, board members, presidents, coaches, referees, mentorships, because, you know, if you want, you know, what's best for these kids, that's what your perception has to be. You feel what I'm saying? It doesn't have, it, it, it can't be no ill gender, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that behind it because these kids will find out. And that's why these kids jump from program to program because real recognize real. And the kids will recognize fake quick. And I promise you that. So if you wonder why your child, why these kids are leaving your program and jumping around, Michael Jackson said it best. Man in the mirror. Take a look at yourself first. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and I dealt with this situation myself personally at Canterbury. Kids, you know, didn't want to play with me, you know, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't the guy for them. And I realized that and I understand that. And it's a tough pill to swallow, but let's let's check it, man, in the mirror. Because perception was, you know, we were good. Reality was we wasn't. Hey, you, you know what? One of the things that I learned in sales real early and, in, you know, through sales training, and they said one of the biggest turnoffs for customers, and, and some people don't realize that, is when you bash the competition. Yeah. When you bash the competition, it's, it's a big turnoff for a customer. And I think the same thing. I'm like, listen, why are you bad? Like, you know, why you got so much to say about the competition? Why, why don't you, why can't you just stand on your product? My Why do you got to make my decision based on how bad somebody else is? If you if you get a chance, read Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says in there, you know what I'm talking about? When you learn to mind your own business, and, it, and that, that, that statement is taken very, very, very lightly. You feel what I'm saying? And people don't get that. People thinking, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I can't know this. No, no mind your business. Whatever you got going on your daily life, you mind and you tend to that and make yourself better. And I promise you everything around you will prosper. But that's the problem. Everybody else is minding everybody else's business and trying yeah. to correct them and worry about them. And, and, and in this time when you criticizing and correcting people, guess what's happening? You losing sleep and, you know what I'm saying, that person is gaining momentum because he ain't worried about you. Mm -mm. Minding his no. business, he or she is minding their business. No, man. Yeah, it, it's it, it's you yeah, mind your own business, man. Mind your own business. I mean, there's really no if you can stand on what you got and you know your product or your program or whatever is 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 is, is it, just stand on that. Yeah. You know, hey, just stand on that. There's no reason to go after somebody else's uh program or badmouth somebody else because it only makes you look bad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So well, Tommy Brown, go ahead. We, we, you know, we back on the Kwame Brown situation, you know, uh, it's a lot of stuff we can come from that. And, you know, you brought this to my attention, you know, and, and uh, just about, you know, just this whole topic came from you because, you know, yeah. I kind of wasn't really on it. And, you know, once I got into the story, you know what I'm saying? I seen where he was coming from and all that, you know, your take on the whole deal. My take was on the whole deal that they they messed up. You know, they 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 stepped in something that they can't get out of, and they they thought it was safe. You know what I'm saying? They they thought um, he was you know that big tall dumb country bumpkin, but they didn't realize how um, how fake that they were being, how manipulated manipulative that they were being, and he exposed that. You know what I'm saying? And he's, he's exposing stuff that they can't answer. They, they don't have an answer for it. And the thing about it is, is people appreciate real. People appreciate real. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now what it's doing is now Stephen A. Smith, for instance, uh, now he's self-conscious. Now he's self-conscious right now. He's really self-conscious right now because he, he knows that he's been, uh, you know, the puppet masters have been basically um scripting what he's saying you know especially with charlemagne the god and all the people that he's going after now now he's exposing this mainstream media uh thing you know in in the space like youtube used to be a place to where you can go there and create your own content you know you can create your own content it was like you know 
you had small groups and, and then now you have like you know iheart media all these media spaces a uh, hogging up the uh, algorithm and basically giving you you know radio or commercial stuff that that's not really what the people think you know what i'm saying it's kind of like um it, it, it's like it's like prepackaged shit you know Oops. Yeah, <laughs> it's like prepackaged stuff. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Listen, you didn't want to get on your Kwame Brown rap. So uh, no, but I'm just saying it's like prepackaged. It's like the they they've made YouTube like the supermarket. You know, YouTube used to be like the specialty shop. You know what I'm saying? The specialty where you get the custom custom thing, but now they've made it like the supermarket. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's made it like this. You know, uh, right now. We're going to get back on that. But Kenny will probably say people think buying your business around here is lame. I, hey, I'll be the, listen, I'm, I'm the lamest guy you ever meet then. Cause I'm, <laughs> you know, if you, you know, when you, you know, we, you know, me and you, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we share out on a lot of things, but when you lame, just be lame in their eyes. Oh, well, you yeah, know, what I'm saying? Business, you're man. Business, hey, I'd rather be lame, you know what I'm saying? And having an enjoyable life. To people that doesn't even know, you know what I'm saying? I can't even walk a, a inch in my shoes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'd be lame. They call you. Mean, they call but, but, that, but that's easy. I mean, that's an easy concept to understand. Is an easy concept. To, but just think about it from the outside. I mean, just think about it. If if you got your like, you got your like. Most of the time, you got enough on your plate, right? Imagine if you're taking four, three hours to bash or be in somebody else's business a week, right? That's seven days a week, three hours. That's 21 hours that, that could have been contributed to your shit, but um, it's being <laughs> contributed to somebody else. Listen, you and this, this S-bomb is just dropping. Yeah. You know, this exactly. is a... Uh, a I'm going to off myself. I'm going to off myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, crap. You know what I'm saying? Crap, crap. So what you think about what, what we for us say? Real get look at as being too cocky. I I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, the real, you know, my perception of real and, you know, that's, it's my perception of real is not, you know, guys that's, you know, what, 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 what the world thinks real. Like, but no, there's, my there's is right. guys that go to work, come home, take care of their family and, 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 and pay it for it. That's real to me. You know, and I know a lot of guys I tip my hat to that's real. You know, don't no, I, I think it only comes across as cocky. And this is my opinion. If it's false bravado. Yeah. If, it, if it's false bravado, it, it comes across as cocky. If it's authentic, people can tell authentic versus false bravado, you know, inauthentic. So that's that's the thing. It's like if if. If you're worried about coming off as cocky, then it's probably false bravado. I mean, that's a right. self-correction tool right there. Exactly. I mean, if you if you know if you feel like you're doing too much and it's not real, you're probably doing too much and it's probably not real. <laughs> oh, I I do that, but being a coach, they think you should have to be pimping to, to attract, attract kid. kids. And he like, huh? Huh? <laughs> what? No, no, I, 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 I get one. Now he's saying that pretty much you got to be swagged out nowadays, and he's, you know, what I'm saying? I don't, I, we, so, I, don't, I don't, I don't agree with you on that. It's just depending on the people you're trying to attract. Me personally, you feel me? Once you, he say, you, you say, but once you, you, know what I'm saying? you put in that groundwork, and people know what you do. Because right now, it's one coach. Right now, I'm gonna give it to him, and no, nobody ever give him no credit. And in this league, in Lee County, in the youth level, he stands on something right now. And what the fathers here that I know, you know what I'm saying? Lamar, I mean, Coach Lamar. He, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know Coach Booty. You feel me? Nobody's talking about the Fellowship Lions, the ones that went. You know what I'm saying? Up there and, and, and did that. You feel me? You don't see him being cocky. You don't see him. You know what I'm saying? You know, popping, but his kids, he winning. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and, and the thing about it is, it's our fault, Johnson. I'm being honest with you. Because guys like that we're not promoting enough. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not a guy that's going to promote himself. Because right. he, you know what I'm saying, he sit back and it's for the kids. And that's what it's supposed to be about. You know, at the end of the day, once you pour, you know, all your gifts, your knowledge, your talent, you know what I'm saying, and the hard work that you're going to continue to do 
because this is not just an overnight thing where you get into coaching and think, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I know it all. I've been around this. No, every day you got to learn stuff because as you know right now, our reality is changing. You feel what I'm saying? Every day because what is reality right now? They trying to throw vaccines down our throat. You feel what I'm saying? And mm. gas prices going up. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, I mean, I I, I kind of get where, where, where his sentiment is coming from. Right. And I kind of get it. I mean, it that comes down onto the parents, you know. I mean, and, and the uncomfortable truth about it is, you know, a lot of the leaders of these kids in these households, you know, are even they they make decisions based on things that are not really relevant. So I can understand. I don't know what how you're gonna fix that because you know, um, you know. It, it, it is it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. It's an uncomfortable truth. And I understand what, what, what Wig is talking about, kind of, you know, because he's not popping. He's not pimping. He's not, you know, the man or whatever. Or, or you know, I'm not saying him personally, but if you're if your program is not, you know, if you're not the popular guy or the popular person in the community, you know, people don't really want to to mess with you. You know what I'm saying? But who's oh, making oh, 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 real quick. Let's let's let's. Let's hit on that right now. You know what I'm saying? How, you know, how do you, what is considered popular? How do you become popular? How do you become this coach that the people, you know what I'm saying? Want their kids to be around. That's the, that's the issue. You feel what I'm saying? Because people think, you know, just because you have a coach's resume, people are supposed to follow you. No, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? What are you doing to pay it for? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why no, I mean it, it's very. It, I mean it's very simple. It's, 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 it's these guys. I mean, some probably some guys are probably portraying themselves as an alpha male, and mm -hmm. you know what alpha males attract. You know, hey, again, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what alpha males attract. You know, instead of little Johnny going to this program, but they they want little Johnny to go to this program because you know hey, just hey, he, he said so so he gonna say we we tripping. No, bro. Like my nobody's tripping. I'm just giving you my perspective. Ooh, there you go. My, my perspective there you go. And my reality of you know what I'm saying what's going on in here in you football. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's my perception in reality. Because, Who said we're tripping? Uh, we you say I'm tripping. Uh, there you go tripping. Be triple it. I mean, there you go triple B. I'm sorry. My bad. We my bad. There you go. Tri he told me on your. Nah. Side. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, it's it's very simple. I mean. The thing about it is, is, is like, um, you know, I like swag or perception or media, whatever is more important than, than, um, than actual structure and winning, you know what I'm saying? To some people, like, you know, some people that, that are easily influenced on, on social media. But you let know? me tell you so so, so right now, now you gotta be popping. But listen, it's listen not winning, you gotta be popping. Okay, let's do this. It's 2021, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the problem. To be to be what I what I truly believe, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, in order to continuously elevate, you have to see what's going on around you. And what's going on around us is social media is popping. You right. feel what I'm saying? And us guys, we have to sit up here and realize it's popping. But what else goes into that? Because you still have a program to build. And that's that, you know what I'm saying, thing you got to understand. Like now, the game has changed from when we was there. You know, right. you had, you didn't have 45 different organizations. You feel what I'm saying? And you didn't have, you know, all this, you know, social media going on where, you know, you can put out film and everybody had their opinion. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was instantaneously. But right now you feel what I'm saying? That's what it is. And mm -hmm. how do we, you know what I'm saying? Get with the times right now. Cause honestly, right. that's what it gotta be. And you know, it sucks, you know, that guys that's not, you know what I'm saying? Good with social media, you know what I'm saying? Have to, to go this way because I'm being honest with you. You gotta learn it. Because that's the way it's doing. And you got to be there to understand that you're a mentor. And if you're not on social media and understand how social media works, you can't really 
monitor these kids because that's where the kids are. Your athletes, right. that's where they're showing their behind it the most. Because that's what it should be. But but what I'm saying is 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 the age that we're going that we're in. So many other things because of social media get thrown in that are not relevant. Like for instance, there might be a person making a decision on a team because their uniforms are fly. And that's real. But but now okay, now you said that right now. If it, the uniform, right. Well, get your uniform fly. <laughs> you no, know, I'm just saying it shouldn't even be based on that. But, but that's you know? what no, like literally. You know, we went to App State, and one of the main reasons why I went to App State was when I came from GMC, they said, you know, I had all these schools, you know what I'm saying, that warned me. But when I went to App State, they told me, they they gave me some, you know what I'm saying, they presented the Nike shoes, they presented all Nike stuff, gloves, everything. You get, you know, as receivers, you get a glove this, this, this quarter and this quarter. Look good, feel good, play good. That was, you know what I'm saying, their motto. But we still got in the weight room. Coach Moore still, you know what I'm saying, made sure if we're going to work, we're going to look good, we got to make sure we play good. So this is the thing. Like a lot of people go after fashion. It's nothing wrong with that. Be swagged out, please, because these kids want to stand out. And if your program is fine, it'll speak for itself. Because mm -hmm. you know, like I know, when you got that fly uniform and you get Molly Wap, social media, will tear your whole program apart <laughs> and you got to understand that right man you know what i'm saying is 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 like and and this is and, and i hate to say this sometimes i think this might set, set a different uh a, uh not a, a dangerous precedent but because i know what the end goal is and i know what the key is like you know with these hbcus you know um because of media perception, because of Facebook presence, some of these kids might just be making that decision because the program looks fly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but they do that for everything, not just HBCUs. Because let's look at let's let's. But let's, they're using that they're using that model now. Yeah, but let's 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 look at the whole big picture of that model you're talking about. So think about this: you got a lot of guys going to Power Five schools, and you will sit back here, and they don't belong. And want me to tell you how they don't belong? They end up transferring. Right. What? You know what I'm saying? Perception. Oh, I go in here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to the NFL. No, that's not, that's not reality. The reality is you need to go to a program that fits your talent. Right. That is going to allow you to be exposed in your best life. Because these guys go to a situation and they ain't going to expose you the right way you need to. You just go in there because, oh. Power five. Mm -mm. Power five is not reality for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that's 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 a key thing. And it's, you know, we we got to start changing the perception around here with these, you know, what I'm saying with these young men to understand, like a free education is a free education and teach them how to brand and market themselves the right way. Because if they do that, no matter where you go get the education, the way things are now, you could be in Alaska balling. And you feel what I'm saying? Reach any university in the world. You see what I'm saying? And it's about, you know what I'm saying, making sure that you said some key earlier is your reality is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Your perception is the truth because, like you know and I know, you'll get exposed. So we, uh, hold on real quick. So I got a question. Does the high school coach have to use the same model to keep kids? Yeah. And and, and <laughs> it, it, it sucks because, you know, think about it now. And, and, and don't take my, don't take my, you know what I'm saying, me and Johnson opinion in, uh, for this, but go look on social media and look at the programs that, you know what I'm saying, are getting, you know, the offers. And go look at, you know what I'm saying, they they, they 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 like pages and stuff. They are putting out content and promoting their players. And, you know what I'm saying, they're going with the, the you know what I'm saying, the new wave model. But, you know, a lot of that is not saying it's, it's a sound, you know what I'm saying, model that they got. Because you still got to win. Now. You still got to win. But it's it's part of, I guess, the 
it's just built in. It's just yeah. built in. You got to do that. You got to have that strong social media presence. I mean, it is because if you if you think that based on talent alone is going to get these kids into school, that's not true. It's just that we, we're in a different you got to adapt. Just yeah. like in in business. They said, was it there's a book called Who Moved the Cheese? You just got to adapt to change. I mean, the more you be resistant, I mean, the more you're going to set your program, your kids back. I mean, I know it's I know some some of it is is overkill or not relevant really to to actual the game. But uh, when it comes to uh, recruitment and all those type of things, you, you it's something that you got to be at least not great at, but you got to be at least functional or marginal. Like right. you got to be at least able to do it on some level. Now, you might give your kids a better opportunity if you're great at it. You know, you might. The thing is, is you might get a marginal kid, a power five offer, you know, if you have if you're really great at that just from the marketing standpoint. But if you don't have none of it, uh, the power five, the real power five kid may not even get a chance. You feel me? Right. So you, you got to have that 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 in place. And and, you know, every high school or I mean, I think even youth programs are probably going to have to have a media department, you know, or mm-hmm. somebody at, that is head of that. Uh, in, in controlling that uh, at all times, because uh, again, um, the you know these organizations are are, are brewing every day, you know, right. and then they it takes resources to run these organizations, and there's a lot of competition. So, yeah. I mean, you need donors, you need sponsors, you need all those type of people, and not and not having a platform in order to showcase or market your uh organization you, you mean you're not going to go nowhere you lose you, you got to have it you lose yeah. it. you got to have it because yeah. we, we're in an age right now where people want to show me the money that's mm-hmm. all they're talking about and and, and basically show me me right. so you know when you know right now one of the the, the, the things that I, I i truly i truly think is really comical is these youth level commitment pictures like how are you committed to something you're going to pay to go play for? Ain't nobody paying you or offering you a scholarship to come over and play. But, you what? know, yeah, they got, you know, organizations out here, you know, and I ain't shooting no shots, but I just think it's comical that, you know, what are we, what are we portraying as, you know what I'm saying, individuals, you know, that we kids are committed, committed, and that ain't, you know what I'm saying, this is not college. You feel what I'm saying? Commitment means that I'm committing to go get a higher education to, you know what I'm saying? Like pay, basically pay to go to college right now. It's, it's the reverse. And, you know, and I get it. We're trying to promote our programs, but can we do it a different way where, you know what I'm saying? We just let them know, like, welcome into the home, not committed. Like, come on, man. We put too much. I, I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm not, I mean, I'm not well, even familiar so, with it. So you got a lot of organizations right now, you know what I'm saying? And I saw, I saw a startup North first. But, you know, they, they they tag a picture and they do it like college game. They have these hats and all this. And, oh, boom, my son, he's eight years old, is committed <laughs> to, to, you know what I'm saying, the, the blue, wing, blue wing Pelicans. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, really? Like, are we getting, you know what I'm saying, that individualized that, you know what I'm saying, we doing that – you know, like, come on, man. But, but 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 the thing, this is the problem, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I, I want to stay away from this, but I'm not gonna, I, I don't want to say all I want to say, but think about it, man. We live in a culture that's attention starved. They're attention starved. There's some people that wake up every day wanting some dang attention. They want some attention. You know, they they use their kids for the attention now. Yes. And it's bad. Is- and it's bad. And, you know, and that's and that's what the world is coming to. And we have to change that. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be men and understand that we don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been everywhere. You know, it's just something that uh, I learned. I learned from you and Coach Mike all the time. Every time we get on the phone, you can learn something new. You know what I'm saying? And, and share new leaves every day. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, <laughs> And yeah, like it's it's comical, bro. Like some of this stuff, man. bro. I can't bro, believe. I see, I see, I see some some. I don't know if it was local or whatever, but it was like some. Um, it was like some type of ceremony. I don't know what it was, but in in every, I guess every guy, 
every guy was looking at the same thing I was looking at. And I was just like, they really doing this? I, I mean, I got to show you the video off the scenes. But we, I mean, it was just like, come on, man. You dress like that? I mean, this, this is not about the kids. It's, this is about you. This is advertising for, you know, whatever. And, and, and I see like it twice. I was like, what is going on here? And, and you know, and, and, and I do think it's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, these guys, they, 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 they putting them, but let's use different terminology, please, you know, and I ain't, and I ain't saying I'm right, you know what I'm saying, I just, I, let's rewind. Okay. I think you should use different terminology because, you know, just the standards of that word committed, you know, and, 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 and I get it, you know what I'm saying, and I see what you guys are trying to do, and that's the way the wave is working. I just don't like that. Because these, <laughs> these these young men and women are being misled a lot of times with, you know what I'm saying, what we thinking is, you know what I'm saying, good intense. They looking at it as bad. So, you know, now think about the other organizations that, you know, that's like, man, I don't even want to get into it. It's just so, we'll be here all day, man. Oh, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy, man. But I it's, mean, it's not reality, folks. It's not. I mean, it's just not reality. I mean, the thing about it is, is perception can be manipulated. Any, t it just can be manipulated. Yeah. You know, it can be manipulated. I mean, what you, I mean, the thing about it is, is what you see is rarely what you get. That's just a fact. Yeah. And I've been there. That's just a fact. I've been on both sides. I you know, let some people down because I told them that and I haven't been on the other side. So, you know, I get you on that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, imagine how many things that you've bought on the internet. You know, you seen that ad, and it, oh, this is look great. Oh, just so you know, hey, <laughs> call one eight hundred, whatever, uh, and you know, you get the first bottle for free. You get the second, you know, third for free. We'll even throw this away, th throw this in. You remember those commercials, those infomercial type things, yeah. and then you actually get it, and you're like. Why did I get bamboozled? <laughs> yeah. But my G, listen, next week we're gonna start, you know, we're gonna get in tune then, you know, because we gotta start showing the youth level look some love. And we wanna we wanna hear from you guys, man. We wanna start bringing you guys on here in Southwest Florida, you know what I'm saying, and talk, you know what I'm saying, and let's discuss this because at the end of the day, man, we gotta do our job to, you know, uh build these kids up and make sure, you know, they go off and be productive uh individuals in this world. Right. Because that's our job, you know. Uh as people in the position that we're in. So, you know, love you guys. Thank you for tuning in to another show. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you want to be on the show, please shoot us a DM. You know what I'm saying? We would love to have you, you know what I'm saying? Put you on the schedule. But, you know, stop. Perception is not reality. Triple B, butt shots. Oh, yeah. oh man. Man, yeah. hey, you know, I put my I put my gun in the holster. Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I put the gun, I put my I put my gat in the uh holster. <laughs> that, that, man, that piece of ah. man. Listen, big dreams, no cupcakes on, baby. We out. That's hey, yeah, I'm shooting yeah. like I'm shooting like coach might be shooting at those possums. <laughs> <laughs>